So today um, we're here at Quail Springs Baptist Church and we have attempted to gather pastors, leaders, and foster care advocates um, around the issue once more. And uh, our hope is that today was about equipping and empowering leaders to engage their con congregations around a recruitment event that's taking place in late October at Crossings. And so that's what we've gathered here to, to do today is to really envision a group of people, a group of leaders, and then ask them to leverage their influence and their networks on behalf of kids who need an adoptive family. And at the heart of the gospel is this spiritual reality that we know and refer to as adoption. And so that's what has gathered us here together in this place is to consider those in our midst, in our city and all across our state who very literally do not have a family um, to call their own. So currently there is a group of boys and girls um, that number about 350 for whom DHS does not have a permanent placement identified for them. And so without further ado, I want to introduce my friend Katie Overstreet with Focus on the Family to you. Would you welcome Katie? Five years ago, Focus on the Family launched what we call Wait No More, Finding Families for Waiting Kids. We believe strongly that kids need families. We believe strongly that the church is a great place to provide families. So that's where Focus has said, what can we do to be a part of this? And in Psalm 68, one of my favorite verses, it says that a father to the fatherless is God in his holy dwelling, and he sets the lonely into families. So that's really what our goal is for our time together and over these next several weeks. You heard Ben mention it, but there are about 350 children and youth right now who need a permanent family. As we talk about the 350 kids who are awaiting adoption, it's easy for that number to not mean anything. But the reality is that it means stories. So that's our goal, is to be able to provide families for kids, especially kids who've maybe lost hope or don't feel like they deserve a family or that nobody wants them. We want to help communicate to them that, not just by our physical families, but by our, our Heavenly Father, that they are wanted and that they are loved. A big way that we're doing that next month is through an event, Wait No More, Finding Families for Oklahoma's Waiting Kids. So our goal for this event is for 100 families to initiate the process of adoption which would be a big number. If you can imagine those 350 waiting kids, we want 100 families. This event is gonna be on Saturday, October the 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The first two hours, we'll have different speakers addressing the crowd, trying to address a lot of the myths and fears and concerns that families have. Then the second two hours, we've got different agencies and ministries that will all be on site. Those are local folks who are licensed and working here in this greater Oklahoma City region. We give families that chance to get started, get plugged in right away so that they can keep moving. So far we've done 20 events like this. We've been in 13 states, so Oklahoma will be state number 14, event number 21. So we're excited about that. This really is a community-wide effort to engage lots of different churches who might be calling people to at least consider what adoption might look like for them. But we would love for you to join us in this effort. If you visit our Facebook page at I Care About Orphans, it's just facebook.com slash I Care About Orphans, you'll see posts and things that we'll do about it. Feel free to share those. Feel free to let folks know about this event. It was, it was